it started with an experience with a very young girl, three years old, and I was a basic registrar in surgery. I operated on this girl. She had an acute appendicitis, and 24 hours later, she was dead. And I went to attend the outpatient, uh, the postmortem examination, and she had major cloud clots in her lungs, the pulmonary emboli. I was really horrified. And uh, then immediately I looked into the record of kings, how often people die after surgery. And it became apparent that there are a large number of people who die due to pulmonary embolism. And when you looked at their case record notes, there was no evidence that they had any problem with venous thrombosis in their legs. So one was really very surprised what actually is happening here. The thrombosis is a really in important uh, problem. It's uh, when the blood clotting system, which exists to ensure that if we cut ourselves we stop bleeding, actually goes wrong and the blood starts to clot inside a vessel, occluding blood flow in that vessel. If it happens in an artery, for instance a coronary artery, the patient will have a heart attack. If it happens in an artery supplying blood to the brain, the patient will have a stroke. And if it happens in the deep veins of the leg, uh, the problem is known as deep vein thrombosis and those blood clots particularly can break off, fly into the lung, uh, uh, affect the circulation between the heart and the lung, uh, resulting potentially in death. The Thrombose Research Institute has a very specific and uh, direct purpose to just study the problems of thrombosis and the conditions related to thrombosis with a view to improving ultimately the management of patients through uh, helping a better understanding of the disease, through helping a better understanding of how we might prevent the disease in high-risk populations, and once patients have developed a thrombosis, to uh, develop strategies to ensure uh, that that thrombosis is as well managed as possible. When the first meeting was held, I was quite convinced this is the first and the last meeting, you know. And it really has grown and it has been most rewarding thing to see that how all the people, majority of people who have contributed to this meeting still are there and adding very useful information, really. And it has become an important focus for bringing up some of the critical issues regarding the management of not only venous thrombosis, arterial thrombosis together. An important aspect of the work we're doing in London is outcomes research um, and to that end we're working on a huge global study called Garfield in 34 countries. Uh, the next project which is due to start next month will be looking at uh, venous thromboembolism in 25 countries. We also have projects ongoing in thrombosis and cancer um, which is extended over several countries so that's a, a huge data set which will be very useful not only to clinicians but to patients as well. TRI is probably the single most important institute of its type across the globe. Uh, TRI has a major mission of bringing investigators and clinicians together from all over the world to discuss every type of thrombotic illness, including heart attack, pulmonary embolism, and stroke. Uh, on top of that, TRI has a very active research program, not only in London, but also in Bangalore, and it has served as an inspiration to us in the United States to try to emulate the principles of TRI with our own groups. So we do take a broad-based approach uh, to the problem of thrombosis, always focused on trying to help us and our colleagues better understand how to get it right for patients and improve patient outcomes.